Welcome back, welcome back as we get ready for the final quarterfinal action here, the fourth quarterfinal action in the NLCL Under-19 Community Cup here at the Manny Ramchum Stadium. We've got Maiden Labyrinth. Yeah, they're up against uh, World Class Soccer Clinic. The Made in Labyrinth team. Not quite sure what colors they'll be sporting in. Yeah, they, they'll be sporting in red and black. They're up against the World Class Soccer Clinic, coached by Mr. Dave Weeks. And they'll be in green and black, as we see the referees there just sharing uh, some light moments yes the referee in the center Kian York the AR1 Ashton Benjamin and the AR2 Malik Wallace yeah the York is from Tobago Kian York I know he's definitely from Tobago so probably the other two are from Tobago so it's gonna be the a very interesting clash here. The Maiden Library team they'll be kicking from they'll be kicking from right to left on your screen, and the world class soccer clinic they'll be kicking from left to right. The Maiden Library team ball played there by uh, Morris that's Simeon Morris and that ball just ushered out a play so it's gonna be a throwing there Critchlow is gonna take it Akido Critchlow <laughs> ball played across and it's uh, the early ball through there by Mitch. World class, they played in green and black. And uh, the Maiden Library, they'll be playing in the red and black. I was just pointed out, this is pointed out to me that the, the, the teams are playing in, in, in black socks and black pants, you know. And normally the referees be looking at the feet. But, uh, of course, we know the difficulties it will be having to get change of kits, etc. But here the ball played through. A strong tackle. Let's put it into touch there. So this game looked to be very fast paced. Wells playing it into touch. as uh, it's going to be a corner here world class soccer clinic two experienced coaches on both benches for the maiden library we have color marshall ah the chest punch clear finally it's cleared shot from distance critchlow Strong defensive header. Nice work there. As they're able to play that ball out. Ball played through. But coming across and putting it into touch at the back for the world class team is a Brown. It's going to be a throw in. And coming across the ticket is Mage. I wonder if I got that pronunciation correct. And it's just chested out by world class soccer clinic that's Pierre Jerome Tepier thrown in Critchlow oh! beautiful one time shot there good work by the keeper it was a beautiful one time shot Carrington was in position there Beautiful ball over. Corridon come and claims easily. And then rolls it to Stapleton. Stapleton plays the ball through. Fast piece action. He just would have straight outside. Just coming back on side was Jones, Daniel Jones. 
the big number 11 there was his snapshot that had the keeper scrambling early on so he, he sound the alarm but play through the keeper calls for it comes and clears Ball just cleared. And that's a foul on top of the 18 yard box. Brought down is uh, Lewis. In, in fact, it's Pierre who has been brought down there. Yeah. A Tobago. To big referring team, the third team on the pitch standing over this one is uh, Ellis Jerome Ellis. So, Jerome Ellis here, he's going to take this with the left boot, oh, he's into the wall. It's banged up field. Ellis, he's skillful. Oh, he's been brought down there. Ellis, skillful there. And a man gets himself into the referee's uh, book. Strong challenge. Ellis. A bit in the plump side. He jogs inside. As we see O'Brien, Terran O'Brien, to take this one. He's going to be taking this with the right boot. He's going to be curling in, mother. Floated into the area. The keeper comes, flaps at it, gets a strong enough arm on it. And that's a good challenge. Oh, I think the referee just didn't get it right there. But he's right in front of him. It was the skipper, Diaz, who went in with the challenge. He would think that he would have gotten all ball. The referee would have deemed that he would have been slightly behind. A challenge from behind. And probably danger looking in it. Not the best of clearance. Headed down. Critchlow. It's a beautiful ball, but it's just a bit too weighted. Critchlow again on the ball. Critchlow looking to take on his man. Ellis goes all the way back to his keeper. His keeper carried on. Ellis. And he's able to play the ball with both feet. Ball floated inside. Good defensive work there. So this one is going to be very fast pace. I don't know if it's because the weather is a bit cooler. But these players are really motoring around the park. That's a nice, lovely turn there. The early ball through. Good defensive work. They're sticking to their task. Oh, an awesome full challenge there by the captain there. He's asking, what did I, you do wrong? Well, young guy, you had your stud showing. That's Morris. Morris, a very experienced player at this level. Ball floated into the area. Good take. Strong tackle there. Ellis flashing wide. And there you see the, the players telling the referee that the ball had come off of you. You were supposed to stop and give a, bong, a bongs ball. And he's making a comment. Yeah, he's got to watch himself. I know the passion is running high there by the captain. Simeon Modest. 
you wouldn't believe his comment. I will not repeat it. But you don't want to get into the referee's wrong emotional book. What happens is even though he may make the right call, there are some times when there's a 50-50 call to be made. And if you're in his wrong emotional book, you're going to end up on the wrong side of that uh, call. Ball floated forward. Good defensive header. Again, the referee getting into the middle of things. <laughs> Trying to get a bit too close to the action. Both teams yet to really settle. It's been fast pace, but not enough constructive passes. As you see there, just giving away the ball. Chipley was the captain. Oh, and there's a beautiful change of pace. He's in the area. The ball that comes across. Oh, heavy touch there by uh, Samuel. And now it's enter in action. The keeper comes and claims Critchlow. Uh, and I think they're trying to play a bit faster than they're able to control and get their thought process going. It's good to play at a, a fast pace, but you must be in control of that fast pace. But it's going to be a throwing here. It's going to be taken by Stapleton. Yeah, the big number 11, Jones, he's already uh, signaled his intent early on in this one with a snapshot that went straight to the keeper. Thus far, the two teams on display here, just about 10 minutes gone in this one. And if you're just joining us, you're watching the NLCL Under-19 Community Cup. Of course, if you're wondering what NLCL stands for, it stands for the Next Level Consulting Limited. They are the chief sponsors of this competition. And where we are in the quarterfinal round here. You're watching Made in Labrador in red up against World Class Clinic, World Class Soccer Clinic. One team from South Labrador. As the name suggests, in the world class team from East Trinidad. Ball floated into the area. Good defensive header there by the skipper. Heading it clear. Diaz. Some of the other sponsors involved the Ministry of Sport and Community Development, also the National Energy Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago. Massey Foundation, Tang, and Ram Singh Sports of Shogunas. So we want to thank all the sponsors for coming on board and really showing a positive event. Jones with a shot. Just cleared. The captain Modest just putting it back into the danger area. It's cleared up in the air. Played on Samuel. Samuel looking for movement. That's a beautiful ball across. It's a teasing cross to O'Brien. Just going out of play, so it's going to be a throwing here. Ellis. Ball floated into the area. Good defensive header. Critchlow. And the made in the bird team is trying to start a build from the back. Not able to get it out over the defensive zone as fast as they would like. Strong tackle. The, the mid elaborate team, they're pelting the axe as they, they call it. Of course, the conditions conducive to that short of tackling. That's a beautiful ball over. But the skipper is back and he's able to do the defensive duties. That's Diaz as uh, they begin to build from the back. Ball play through. O'Brien. O'Brien blowing past his man. The strong challenge there by Philip. Goes out. So it's going to be a throw in to the world class soccer clinic. When you look at the benches here, very experienced personnel. The head coach of uh, the Middle Labour team. 
Colin Marshall, his assistant coaches, Josh Beard and Travis Joseph. Ball thrown into the area. Good de defensive header. Trying to do a bit too much, but he's bailed out there because the ball goes out of play. Was a uh, Philip Christian Philip, and it's going to be a throw in here. Devon Midge going to take dash this throwing. So a spectacular youth football competition being put on here by the Next Level Consulting Limited. Oh, unable to really do what he intended to do. Stippleton is looking for movement. Some good defensive work there by uh, Philip. Stippleton trying to get the ball early into his strikers. But the infringement just committed. As they looking to go bigger. Diaz headed clear. Modest. The Maiden Labrador team playing a bit of backs and forwards really. Their centre halves really being their main attacking force when it creates a force when it comes to passing. Huh, does he keep that ball in play? No, he doesn't. Ball just going out of play. So it's going to be a train to Maiden Labre. Just about 15 minutes gone in this one. As they look to decide the final semi final contestant already, Soccer Made Simple has booked their place to a three goals to nil victory. Or oh, three two victories. No, three goals to nil victory. That was yesterday. Yeah. W Connection also booked their place with a four goals to nil victory as well. And, and early on, uh, the ball blasters off Tobago. They booked their place. With a hard fought three goals to two victory over the Gasparilla Youth team. Who will be the hero here? Oh, strong challenge. Coming across at the back, ensuring that he broke up that any hint of an attack there. Some good skill. But then he loses out. There was Philip. Ball play through some nice interpassing. O'Brien. And there the, as the ball is banged upfield. And uh, Brown just allowing it to go into the hands of the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper Morris. And he tries to find his big forward Samuel. Samuel wing out and looking to take on the whole of the middle Labre back line. As the sun comes back out in all its glory, it's been that kind of evening where you had a rain and then sun. There's been no in between. And likewise, the action on the field has been end to end. It's been fast paced. He's really giving it away there. Skipper Diaz, Critchlow, heading it on. Trying to get his big striker going, but it's well handled at the back there by uh, the number eight for Made in Labre. That's Luke Philip. Luke Philip, very impressive. Luke Philip. He'd have played in the Ascension Tournament, Senior Ascension Tournament, with Deportivo. And there he puts the ball out of play. A lot of good talent coming out through the, the young ranks of uh, Trinidad Tobago's football. I think what 
we need is just that sharpening, you know, that refining. And of course, the tournaments such as the NLCL Under-19 Community Cup, it definitely allows that platform for some of the youths to continue training after the, their respective leagues would have finished. Critchlow trying to be cheeky. Stippleton uh, just allowing it to go out of play. Wells finds Morris. Beautiful driven ball, but it's a bit overhit. Stippleton losing out. So it's going to be the ball for Lebre. Philip asking if he should take it or he should get into the box. Very athletic. Look, Philip. Simon Morris. Driven into the area. Good defensive header. Samuel. Trying to play back to get O'Brien going. Faults of Philip and Morris. Morris trying to tread the needle, but it's a bit overhit. So they really trying to settle and get themselves going here. 20 minutes have passed. The early energy rush from both teams have gone out through the door. And they're looking now to really string their passes together. I think both coaches, as you see, Coach Colour Marshall up with his board. Ball played through. Aim the Jones. And Diaz just allowing the ball to go out of play. It's going to be a goal kick for the world-class soccer. World-class soccer will be try to put on a world-class display they've not done that just yet oh a strong challenge but he comes out of it well there and able to bring that ball forward and jones definitely would be hoping that he got that chance back and a battle but, uh, taking place bring there. That ball forward. As there we see it there, Jones had the opportunity, just delaying. All he needed was a touch to get it past the goalkeeper. I think that goal was so easy. A lot of the fans, <laughs> I included, didn't believe it was an opportunity. Wait. Putting the ball into the area. The keeper comes and stays. Winning out there. O'Brien uh, finds Stapleton. And a head injury have taken place. A lot of Phillips on this Maiden Labre team. You have uh, the number five, uh, Jaheem Phillips. You have Luke Philip. You also have the 24, Ruben Philip. Then you have number 13, Christian Philip. And on the bench, you have Tariq Philip as well. So it seems like the Philip, this is a Philips team. <laughs> we all remember the Philips screwdriver. <laughs> so you know the Philip is the star head screwdriver, so it's probably a star made team. <laughs> As the referee is allowing the two teams, as it's going to be a, a bum ball. Referee York. O'Brien Ellis. 
as the Ellis again scoops this one over. Luke Phillip. Some good control there by Pierre. What able to win out there is another one of the Phillips. I'll have to call him by the first name. To, that was Christian. Wait with a shot from distance. But Luke is able to trap it down. And then he tries to get the outlet pass going to Jones. It goes all the way through to Diaz. And then uh, uh, Jones just bundles him over. And Daniel Jones just tracking him to Diaz. And then uh, uh, Jones just bundles Taking him over. Prisoners, the tall forward there. So it's going to be a free kick. Ball floated over. Cleared up field. Stapleton. And a defensive header there by Wells. And that's a beautiful ball through by Ruben. Of course, when he, I call him by the first name, it's because the last name is Philip. <laughs> so <laughs> it was Ruben there with the beautiful ball through. And Wells. And the referee just giving the water break here. So we're just about 25 minutes gone in this one. It's a world class soccer clinic. They nil, made in Liberia, nil. You're watching the NLCL under 19 Community Cup. It's quarterfinal number four as they try to find the final. The right boot is going to be curling in. Right. This is some of the early Ruben action. Area. Ball floated into Fuck the arms. Keeper came, flaps at it. Played it with a Get strong arm. Just on it. On it. Arm it away. So yeah, ball was forward. Uh, the keeper to Diaz. And then uh, uh, Jones and just bundles Jones him just over. Laid out. So that was some of the action as we go, go to the water break. After the, the water break, we see Wells going to take this throw in. Jabari Wells. And after this throw, I'll make some announcements. Oh, he's brought down there. Wait, bringing down the player in a very telling position. Wait, yeah, bringing down that was France. Sharon France. So France, they're going down. And the announcement I was going to make is that in goal uh, for Made in Labre is Akil Vespri. For those who follow the secondary schools football league, Akil Vespri was a, a very important part of the Safari West. Yeah. He was he carried that team really and was excellent as an attacking force. So it's strange to see him in the goal post. I was just wanting to know who was the goalkeeper there. And after searching the length and the breadth of the team sheet. Oh Modest just giving up 
the opportunity there. It was a well-worked free kick. In fact, it opened up for him. All he had to do was shoot. And now here comes world-class soccer. Yeah, Luke Phillip just coming and just screening things out. Luke Phillip, a very experienced player. And uh, I think the, the skipper, Morris, who would be very disappointed that he didn't get off a shot there. I think it was a well work. It was something that he would have done on the training pitch. They did everything right except pull the trigger. And probably I shouldn't be using such terms, but <laughs> except get a shot off. It's, oh, and he would want back that opportunity. He was open, free, and onside. I thought the referee assistant shot would have gone up on the far it's side. It, oh, but it didn't. and he would want back that and opportunity. Would have open header. Anthony Samuel conspired really to not even hit the target. As the action continues, O'Brien. Wait. Well, the, the referee, good refereeing there. He allowed the advantage to be played, and when it was lost, he called it back. Refereeing at this level is, is definitely a chore. Because they are the, 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 the age where they, they, they like to question authority, you know. And uh, they, so these youngsters, and they may not have the, the full understanding of the game as well, in terms of the, the laws of the game. They may understand how to play the game to a certain extent, but the, the rules of the game, the total understanding. So they wouldn't appreciate that it would have been fouled, and the referee didn't call. But he would have allowed that the advantage to be played. And when it was lost, then he would have given your team the ball. Ruben, ah, oh, he's been given a kick there by Stapleton. I call him Ruben. You know when I call him Ruben by his first name, it's because his last name is Philip. So, Ruben there. And they leave it for the big number eight. That's Luke. Ball floated in with the left boot, a beautiful ball. It falls to Christian France. Uh, yeah, he's just raising his leg a bit too high there. And you would have seen that Christian would have gotten off that shot instead. Christian Philip, that is. Diaz, the captain. Yeah. Luke Philip. Trying to play this one through. It was aimed at Christian Philip. He did good work though to keep it alive. O'Brien. And then he just plays it out. And that one is just screened out of play there by uh, number five, Jaheem. So it's really whopping into a beautiful evening in terms of the atmosphere here. The sun just going away for the, the, the time being. It's been replaced by a, a nice cooler settings. So it's excellent for, for the footballers out on the, on the pitch. It's not heated. Of course, the Manny Ram John turf here, one of the better turfs in Trinidad and Tobago. That's a beautiful ball play through. Ball play to the air. And Ruben clears it out. So you're seeing the, that the beginning to come to life here, the world class soccer clinic. Stapleton trying to get some yards. The referee just telling him oh, that's enough. O'Brien finds Ellis. Ellis has an intelligent left foot, but that time not being as intelligent as it normally is. And France in a battle there with the wing back pair. Jerome Tipier. So it's going to be a throwing here, Mage. 
he has a long throw, so he's going to take a couple of steps. Well, it seems to be a substitution. Oh, an early substitution by the and made in Lebre, and out comes 14. That's out comes Robinson, and out comes number 20. That's Philip, another Philip. <laughs> Tariq Philip. Mm -mm -mm. So Tariq Philip comes in. So I will count the number of Phillips. But in the meantime, the captain throws it in. And it's cleared out. And then it's just allowed to go out by Mage. So on the pitch at this time, we have one Philip, two Philip, three Philip, four Philip, five Philip. Five Phillips are on the pitch <laughs> at, this at this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a set of Phillips. <laughs> but here comes a. Oh, that was a good ball through. Critch Lodo trying to be cheeky, but Wells able to handle him easily. And it falls to Christian. Turns one way, then the other. And oh, and then a heavy pass there with no pressure there. With no pressure on there. O'Brien trying to flick this one over the head of everyone to appear. Ball thrown and feel Ellis. He's got a good left foot, but he's just bundled over there by France. So very stop start this one. And I think after this coming out the exciting uh, watering clash effort, between Paul Blasters and uh, Gasparilla Utes. Although it started quickly and you saw a lot of pace in the early on. After, uh, as they've settled down now, it's more stop start, lots of fouling, lots of the ball out of play. O'Brien stands over this one. Mm. Another very good shot. And Vespri. He's quite comp competent playing with his foot, <laughs> as you know. And that's a beautiful ball out. He's putting him under pressure. Yeah, and he's forced him to, to put it into true. Into t touch for true. That was Pierre. In the meantime, Vespi seems to be holding his hand. Probably I. When I announced him, don't know if the the glove is too tight. Sometimes the circulation. Long throw. Ball floated across. Uh, into the hands of the goalkeeper. He's able to handle it easily. That's Morris. And Diaz, he just had a collision there, and he's holding his head. So the, st the stop start continues. He's holding his back as the physio bongs on. Yeah, very experienced physio there, Neptune. Steve Neptune jogging on there. Of course, the. You'll be amazed at the, what is in those bags. A lot of sometimes surgical knives, scissors, bandage. Of course, you always walk with the uh, the, the miracle spray. One spray of it. Yeah, the magic spray. One spray and they're up and they're ready to go again. Abracadabra. In the meantime, spotting the ball, uh, Luke Philip. I think he had a bit of a trip uh, yeah, between the Ascension and now. Not sure how that went. But of course, this, the Next Level Consulting Limited uh, on the 19 Community Cup, it provides a platform as well for young players to be seen. Oh, and he also played in the South Zone. But he would have played in the Ascension as well. Ball hit you. 
Easily handled by the goalkeeper. Some oohs and ahs from the partisan crowd. Ball played over the top. It's a beautiful ball. Anthony. And he's going to be carded. Yeah, Luke Phillips is going to be carded. Yes, it's a, it's a good call. He, 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 was, he was on the way to goal. Yeah, it was a good foul as well. It was either he was going to allow him to go and try to man to man defense, or he took the foul outside the box. He wasn't sure what's going to happen in the box. <laughs> so it was an experience foul by uh, Luke Phillip. And of course, uh, as long as the referee had blown, uh, he had to go into his pockets, according to the, the ruling of the book. Now, uh, they gave up a, a free kick in a very, very, very crucial position. Now, had I been the world-class soccer clinic and I found out that it was Akil Vesper in goal, no disrespect of Akil Vesper, I don't know his quality of goalkeeping, but definitely I would be, it would be a shooting range. As long as I get side of goal, Vesper, not the biggest of players, in fact physically, so there will always be areas that he would not be able to, to reach in a, in a goal post. And then knowing that he's an outfield player doubling up here as a goalkeeper, I'll be shooting from distance. Well, from inside the area here. Let's see how the wall. You see, the, key, the, the, the captain is going to set the wall. So Simon, <laughs> Simon Modest sets the wall. That tells you something. But let's see if Ellis could go on the wall. Oh, he tries to be. <laughs> In the end. It's a wasted effort there. At the wall. And so Simon <laughs> Ellis. Simon Modest at the wall. <laughs> that took from the, the, the partisan but crowd. Let's see if Ellis could go on the wall. Oh, Number. he tries to be. <laughs> We're not in deep south, <laughs> but we definitely not in the east. <laughs> so world class would not have worked with their, their, their band loader fans. It's, it's much easier to come from uh, La Brea <laughs> to the Manny Ramjohn Stadium uh, than. Um, <laughs> Malabar to the Manu and John Stadium. <laughs> My certain friends are telling me that it's not true, but I think for me, <laughs> probably because as you pass uh, the Carney Bridge, I think I'm in South. <laughs> mm. oh, and they tell me, my producer tell me these North people. Mm. Obrando Pierre with a nice back heel. O'Brien strong tackle taking no prisoners at the back there Jaheim Phillip oh that is trying to be cheeky He's seeing that it came off the, the middle library player. I may be just be forced to agree with him from here, but I'm way, way, way across from the action, going down and staying down to his pair. Gerant Tapier. And you know, there's some names, there are a lot of teams when you look at these team sheets, and they're, they're really interesting. You know, when you look at these team sheets, there are a lot of jars. So, Jam so there's Jamil, that's J A H, and then the meal, there's Jarant, J A H again. There's also Jaima with the jar, J A H. And then, of course, well, you know, on the meal in the Bray side, I don't want to over repeat myself, but it's all about the Phillips. Ellis. A good strong tackle there by France. And the sun coming out in all its glory. And we're forced to shoot on the far side of the Maniram Jump Stadium. Of course, repairs taking place at the Maniram Jump Stadium. We hope that there will be repairs uh, with the Commonwealth Youth Games coming up. The playing pitch, though, it's a 
beautiful playing pitch the surface when you look at it even in the dry season it's held up well <laughs> i'm informed <laughs> that nobody's using it but i think I've been here for the secondary school games last season. It was a picture. It was a really a beautiful picture. Excellent, the ground itself. It's a pity though that the facilities surrounding it. I think in the future though, I'll be making a proposal for, for ownership of this <laughs> facility. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Take uh, your Marshall Fridays held here next year. <laughs> uh, uh, the Marbella <laughs> residents on the production team uh, just shaking their head. They don't want their community to be disrupted by such noise. Hmm. Uh, uh. But back to action on the pitch here as the world class team. Just losing out. Jones has not been at his very best here this afternoon. He's blown hot and cool in the very first minute. He had a shot that really signaled his intention. But then he got an opportunity that uh, he should have put away to definitely. This, this game is definitely in need of a goal as it really meanders to the halftime interval here. So just about uh, 45 minutes already in the bag. Not sure, as we look at the fourth official, as he gets up with the board, this team working with all their apparatus here. Yeah. So two minutes of added on time will be played. Critchlow trying to get it to Samuel. Samuel gets a good first touch. Luke Phillip trying to get to Ruben Phillip. I know. Wells. Wells with the throw in. Christian Philip. Oh, winning out there was modest. France. France in a battle there. Doing well. Putting on his big. I told him when he's in South, they can't call it the movie tongue screen. You have to call it the C tree screen. The South Park screen, he put on his big South Park screen and holding up the ball. Luke Phillip. Let's look at his delivery. He's the experienced quality player on this the Million Ability team. A lot depends on him. And he goes for goal, but it's easily handled. Christian Phillips, the early ball across, and it just goes behind. So not much more time left in this one. If you're just joining us, you're watching the NLCL Under-19 Community Cup. Christian Phillips, as we look at it here again, the early ball across, and the, out just the goes final. Behind. Just that extra quality in the final third, just lacking on both teams, both sides. They started off with a frenetic pace. And it looked like it was going to be a game that would have even eclipsed the earlier quarterfinal. But then it just started to lose its shape and quality. Stapleton to take this one. Not the best of kicks. And then it's just flicked on. Philip. The substitute. That's Tariq Philip. Just flicking it on and it goes out of play. Running the track, dug that ball, it's brown. And that's what is so good about youth football. You see so many different types of uh, battles, different types of, of opponents. This game, a totally different one from the one we saw earlier. But interesting in its, in its own right. Morris, the captain. Simeon Morris, as the player is just walking out of it, it's going to be probably the last kick of the game. <laughs> and if they're lucky, if they're 
unlucky. <laughs> they may not get to take it <laughs> because at the time has been played. Jaheim Phillip into the area. And it goes out and that's the final kick for this the first half. So at the half in this one, World Class Soccer Clinic Nila made in the Nila. We've got some of uh, the highlights. As both teams battle hard, it was a evenly matched contest. Interesting for different reasons. Dana, in this what we saw earlier, it's going to be curling in. Early on, uh, the world class team floated uh, into the area. Yeah. The keeper comes, threatened, laps it in. Vespi gets a string a strong enough hand. Pierre Van in the shot off. It's hit. Oh, the he would want that by opportunity the by Anthony Samuel. O'Brien stands over this one. In fact, Vespi playing that one with his feet. Shot. Probably seeing that was a back pass instead of a shot. The Made in the Parade team, though, across. they had their opportunities. Uh, into the hands of and, uh, the goalkeeper. The yes. Jones would have seen? think that he should have put that one into the back of the net. Oh, Philip, he also played Luke Phillip, zone. But he trying his luck well. from oh, distance. True. He is oh. behind so by Simon, the goalkeeper. <laughs> Simon but this sets the wall. That, that tells you something. Class so but let's see if Ellis, Ellis they should have made it oh, oh, he tries but Ellis to just be putting be that one over. So at the end of uh, the first 45 minutes, it's World Class Soccer nil, Middle Liberia nil. We're going to the break. When we come back, we'll have more in the second half.
the Manu Ramchon Stadium as we get ready for the final quarter final. Quarter final number four. It's the second in the double header here today in the NLCL under 19 Community Cup League. This game deciding the final semi finalists. Three have already been decided. Soccer made simple. They've booked their place through a three goal to nil victory. Also, W Connection. They rampaged to a four goal to nil victory as well. And earlier today, the Ball Blasters of Tobago, they booked their place with a hard fought victory against the Gasparilla Youths in an entertaining contest in the first match here today. But it's the second of the doubleheader as we get ready. The second half gets on the way. We've got the world class soccer clinic in green. Eh? They're up against Maiden Labrie in a red and black, red, white, and black. The scores at the half, both teams are locked in a nil nil battle. As we see the skipper, Simeon Modest, going back to bring the ball forward. It'd be interesting if we see any tactical change by the Maiden Labour team. Ball punt, punted downfield. Philip winds his way free to Rick. Philip oh, Jones uh, continuing in what has not been his best performance thus far in the tournament. Stapleton, early ball into Samuel Ellis. Ball played forward. Be picking up Giovanni Hospitalis. He's calling for a foul. No foul called by referee York. A total to begin on a refereeing team. So nice to really have uh, our brothers from Tobago fully involved. Shot. Oh, beautiful shot. It's there, but oh, and the rebound, O'Brien, the flag stays down. So on the resumption, O'Brien puts his team up. One goal to nil. Tyron O'Brien, it was a beautiful turn and shot by uh, Crutchlow. And Johnny on the spot was uh, O'Brien. Let's look at it again. There you go. The train involved. It fell. Shot. Oh, oh beautiful shot. By it's there. Oh, by and the rebound. O'Brien. Johnny on the spot. Was O'Brien. Or should we say Terran on the spot. Was there. And he tapped it home. To put his team. World class soccer clinic. Up one goal to nil here. I expect to see a response from uh, the Maiden Library team. If this game. If any game needed a goal, was this one. So I expect that we're going to see a change in tempo. So whatever Coach Dave Weeks said at the halftime interval, really spiced his team into action. Critchlow. And you, that, and that has been one of the changes you've seen made by the uh, world class soccer team. Critchlow has come in field, and he's already begin to make his presence felt. So scoring, Terran Ter Ter O'Brien, the number thirteen for. World-class soccer. Morris. Courage low. In fact, that's it's no courage low. He treads this one through. O'Brien in a foot race. O'Brien. O'Brien, he's been dragged down in the penalty area by Wells. And he gone straight red. My goodness me. What an event in the game, man. The Barry Wells uh, there paying the ultimate price. 
He was oh caught on the wrong oh side of the defender. Definitely, he was a hold on. Had he gone straight red? The forward who was going away My from goal was supposed to have gotten a, a yellow card. But definitely, a card was in the offering. And Jabari Wes, look at the disappointment on his face. He'll have to consider that from the dressing room area. And O'Brien looking to double things up. The agony of the missed opportunity there. It was a telling ball by Kirchlow. He's definitely come to life. And that change by weeks, moving him from the wider area into the more central area. It was his shot and rebound that set up the first goal. And then his one-time pass here freed up O'Brien. O'Brien with the opportunity to double the advantage. Oh, he just bangs it past. Vespri. Vespi chose the right side. He went full stretch. But he was unable to keep it out. And Terran O'Brien doubles the opportunity. The leader for world class soccer. Shot and rebound that so set up the first again. Goal. And then O'Brien one time pass here. It's back to O'Brien. He took O'Brien his time. Best the the side. Side. Oh, uh, He just bangs it past. He dive. He pounds the ground. So they are down to ten men now. Uh, the immediate liberty team, Philip. And he goes down. Oh. And he's going to go into the referee's book here. So he finds himself in the referee's book. You'll have to be careful. That's Pierre. Geronte Pierre. And what is what makes things so um telling and youngsters have to understand this <laughs> when a referee says of a player in the back of his mind he even though it's the right call the other calls is leading up sometimes and i'm saying all the time it tends to to lead to, to him trying to even off subconsciously trying to even things off so you got to be careful so pierre has found himself in the referee's book quickly take on a goal kick Good work there by Ruben Philip. A bitter pill to swallow here for the Midian Liberty team. They would have come out from the halftime interval. Looking to get on the front foot. They were hit early by uh, the, that goal from O'Brien. And then a beautiful one-time ball that really set O'Brien on his way. Jabari Wells pulling down O'Brien. And with that, and there is Courage Law again, another early ball. Vespri coming out and competently playing with his feet. His players saying that, telling him he should have hold that one. He probably should have. Courage slow. Luke Philip. Luke Philip. Trying to make something happen. As we see a substitution about to be made from world class. As out comes weight. And in comes number 14. Nakosi. Ambrose, so Nakusi Ambrose comes in, and out goes Wait. Peter Pill, how will they react? How will they respond? The made in Labre, we know where they are made. But I think this one will test what they are made of. Clarence there by Brown. Diaz up against Jones. He fall, fell a bit awkwardly there. He's rolling, but he's getting up. Always good to see the players returning to their feet. 
action on the bench from a made in Labre. Always so difficult when you you lose one of your back four to a red card. The adjustment, especially at this youth level, where you've got specialist defenders, and you all know everyone as a youth <laughs> don't really love to play uh, the defensive role. So we see slotting in for the Maiden Library team, the skipper Simeon Simon Modest. Ball aimed at Jones. Jones with a shot. Chest flashing wider. So Daniel Jones showing that there's still signs of life here from the Maiden Library team. Ball aimed at Jones. Brown. Jones with a shot. Chest flashing wider. Is he onside? He's definitely onside. Oh, he's, yes, he's definitely offside. I was waiting for the for the flag to go up. Hospital is gesturing on the wrong side over the defensive line. Modest putting it down there. Will he keep it in play? Yes, he does. That's Jahim. Modest. A lot will depend on him now. Beautiful ball over the top. Ruben in the Jones. Back at Albi. <laughs> Jones. And the keeper coming and making a defensive stop. So Jones making himself a nuisance there. In the Jones. Back at Albi. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of confusion there. Jones and in the heat of the battle. Keep up going and making a back and half stop. Probably so Jones <laughs> making thinking about the season. Of course, it's <laughs> the season for back and half. <laughs> but good work there by the goalkeeper, though. That's Morris. Keeping things goalless, keeping a clean sheet. So the Made in Labre team. Showing that they're not over yet. Modest. Oh, not the best of deliveries. And it's headed clear by Critchlow. And he just goes down there, Hospitalis. Hospitalis. Quickly take on. Uh, and he just... Put it out into touch. That's Philip. Jahim Philip putting it into touch. The substitute coming on there. Showing a cl clean pair of heels. So coming out is the number tw 21. In fact, that's coming on. That's Pierre. That's Lu Lewis, sorry. Tyrese Lewis comes on and one of the Phillips leave. So that's Ruben Philip out and Tyrese Lewis in. So his first duty will be to defend this one, O'Brien, with the corner out into the area. And he'll get another opportunity to deliver. Tyron O'Brien. Tyron O'Brien. He goes short to Ellis. Ellis lifts it into the area. Oh, power manding header there by uh, Hospitalis. It was a beautiful ball. The intelligent left boot of uh, Ellis. But first to respond was Hospitalis. A commanding header. And he puts his team up. Three goals to nil. Giovanni Hospitalis to Ellis. Ellis, Ellis this beautiful the piece. Oh, power in man the area. Area there by uh, Desprey. Trying to get there. And I think uh, <laughs> probably the commentary would have just sold out <laughs> that it was uh, Vesprey in goal immediately on the resumption. You saw the shot that was parried. He did well, though, to get to the shot. But it was pied into the part of uh, 
O'Brien. And he put it away. The penalty again, no. And the substitute finds himself in the referee's book as well. The penalty That's Tyreek Phillips. Again, no. So Tyreek Phillips. I don't know what was said to the referee at the halftime interval. But it seems like I know we are in Marbella, where is the home of all fours, and a lot of all four cards competition takes place in this part of the country. But a lot of cards have been coming out in this the second half. Driven into the danger area. Look, Philip able to get it clear. But it's going here fast, Tippleton, who finds Courage Low. Philip. Nice interpassing here. France, a uh, strong challenge there by Critchlow. More substitutions as we see the goal scorer, Giovanni Hospitalis. He makes his exit and uh, looking to make his entrance is the number 26, Christian, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Christian. So the substitution's coming fast and furious. Ball played down the line. Ah, strong challenge, but it falls. He still got it. Ah, good save there by Vespri. Doing quite well there. Ambrose looking to get on the scorecard. So no, Vespi definitely showing that he's quite competent. As I always tell even my under 10 goalkeepers, don't let them beat you in the first post. So the angle there was quite narrow. And he made sure and held on well. They're pushing it out for a corner. Corner quickly taken. Floated into the area. They go up. Uh, the spectacular. Ball still not clear. Still not clear. Finally. It's clear. Ellis falls to Stapleton. Stapleton. Oh, they're going to work here now. A oh, good, strong challenge by France. Goes out. It's going to be a corner. So they're coming in waves. The fans are calling for Jones. Daniel Jones to wake up. And they go up. With a spectacular. Ten men. He Ball should still not clear. They begin to respond. Still not clear. He's been, they've been trying to get him going. They need something special from one of these middle up players here. With just about 28 minutes, 27 minutes, sorry, left in this one. Drift across. As it goes out, it's going to be a goal kick. Now with your team down to 10 men. You don't three goals to nil. You're in a, in a knockout competition. What do you do? You know, you sometimes you want to think that better you lost 10 goals to nil than you, you don't throw the kitchen sink at it. Do you get Luke Phillip high up the pitch? Do you go to a back three and give up the, the wings, the wide areas? Well, it's Luke Phillip on the ball. We know what he can do. But he's a, a good distance away from the goal. The substitute. Looking to tread the needle. Ambrose. He's up against Morris. Oh! And that's going to be a card. What color is going to be? What color? Oh, he's already been booked. He's been booked in the first half. He's been booked in the first half. So let's look at it. Well, it's one yellow, but I think he's definitely been booked in the first half. Oh, and that's going to be a card. What well, color is going to be? It seems to be a... I remember the, some incident. So, I probably got it wrong. 
I know we our referees are very competent, so it's probably the first yellow. So Ambrose. Good defensive work. Whoa. Crutchlow. He's come to life <laughs> since the halftime interval. That one just Ambrose. flashing wide. So coach Colour Marshall, good well, defensive definitely work. Whoa. Be looking to Kurt find Shaw. some sort of solution here. I definitely, if I was coaching, I would have gone to the, a back tree. Yeah, and definitely try to apply some pressure. The back line of the world class soccer has not looked ironclad. Critchlow picking up at the room on time. Finds O'Brien. Trying to tread the needle. Oh, Ambrose is onside. And he just. Ah, oh, that's a brilliant save. Brilliant save. And it goes out for a corner. Brilliant save by Vespre. Uh, Ambrose is onside. He was one and one. Yeah, ah, that's Ambrose. a brilliant save. Pedlin. Brilliant save. And Vespri did excellent. So they're made in Labre, but Vespri showing what he is made of. Showing that it's not over and done just yet. Stapleton. Tariq Phillip. O'Brien. Stapleton. Strip him across. And they're beginning to toy with the Maiden Labrie team. Beautiful return pass. Oh, it's got, just going out of play. It's a goal kick. But some nice interchanging passes there between the substitute Lewis, who's come on. He's showing that he's not afraid to play football. In fact, that's Christian and Pierre. Luke Phillip. He's getting the ball. Yeah, and he's losing the ball in, in areas that he's not being effective. He's not threatening. So, yeah, he needs to definitely try to get the ball forward. Yeah, we know that he has the skill. He's a player, a next level player. No pun intended. <laughs> but it's going to be Pierre floating this one into the area. Philip. Yeah, and he bangs it forward. Jones, uh, he's got three for company. What can he do here? Uh, he's just ushered off right there by Stapleton. Ellis, good defensive header. No call by the referee. It's been hard. <laughs> Pierre taking no not hurrying good defensive header Philip Luke Philip he tried to put it earlier fresh you should hold it quickly use his whole box and punt it long while his players are still up and he bangs it upfield Good defensive header by Pierre. Tariq Phillip. Modest. Not the fastest of players. He's got skill. But he's the kind of player you got to put the ball to foot with.
Good work there. Finds Jones. Oh, Jones trying to thread the needle. Good defensive header. France has gone back into the back line. So another substitution. Off comes the number 13. Eh? One of the Phillips, Christian Philip. He comes off and Perez comes on. Call it Perez. I saw some of the fans with Perez jerseys on. The Maiden Liberty team travel strong and I saw some Perez jerseys. And Crutchlow, his evening is over as well. He had an awesome evening. So he goes off, Akido Kuchlo goes off, and on comes the number seven, Kendall Castle. So Castle is in, and Kuchlo out. Ellis. Now with the, the man advantage. Is he on side? Ambrose Vespri. So Vespri doing his job competently. Something that you'll see in the WWF. He's come on and had some fight, um, uh, Tyrese Lewis there. Not the most mobile of players. But he's definitely had some bite to the midfield. Stapleton. Good defensive work there by Philip. That's Tar Tariq. Oh, strong challenge there by O'Brien. So even though they're leading three goals to nil, the world-class team still playing very strongly. Good defensive tackle. France looking for movement. Oh, awful pass by Moles. Good uh, defensive work there, Philip. But they, uh, they're definitely battling the world class team. That's Christian, Jeremy Christian, the number 26, just committing the infringement. You'll think that they're up three goals to nil. And uh, up by 10 men. Up against a side that's down to 10 men. Jones, uh, can he lead his team back into the promised land? It's a... Uh, well, they've got an opportunity here. Hmm. People say... <laughs> Some of the fans saying that he's following his name, Indiana Jones, and more explorer than a, a leader, Daniel. Of course, you know Daniel, the prophet in the Bible. His first name is Daniel Jones. So he's more following his name, Indiana Jones, than uh, Daniel Jones. But it's more or less. More or less with a shot. Woo! And chest flashing wider. He's more following his name. Indiana Jones, Dan, uh, Modest just Daniel Jones stretching there. Modest. As he really Modest with a shot. Whip this one Ooh. in. in chest flash off target. Uh, goalkeeper Josiah Morris not really bothered. As the captain Modest tries to urge on his team. Good strong challenge there by Merge. Devon still staying in the team. In the game. Yeah, just about 16 more minutes left. Pierre. Ellis. Yeah, he's got a very, very good left boot. Samuel. 
for the forward of uh, the, the world class team. He's not been in much of the action. Uh, the, the number 10, Anthony Samuel. Uh, he's just offside. Just string offside there on the wrong side of the defensive line was Jeremy Christian. But it's been a good uh, team performance. And judging from what you've seen, what I've seen, seen today and yesterday, it's going to be a very interesting uh, competition when the semifinals come around. Remember, on the 12th of uh, February, that's the All Star, good defensive header by Captain Diaz. Philip, Philip with a shot. Oh, the angle was impossible. Driven straight to the keeper. Uh, beautiful work there by Christian Samuel and it's just cleared out anywhere will do there Jaheem Philip just clearing it out so as I was saying the all-star game that's on February the 12th the semi-finals follows on February the 19th and then the finals it's gonna be on a February the 26th so some interesting dates remember the dates the all-star game that's February the 12th uh, the semi-finals February the 19th is that a fantastic Friday or is it <laughs> the, 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 the Saturday I think yeah. and then the finals on the 26th of uh, February so interesting clashes lined up here lots of entertainment for the family this the nlcl uh, on the 19 community cup yes the 19th is a uh, carnival sunday o'brien he's already gotten two goals here this afternoon this evening afternoon sorry stipleton with a shot of distance oh a brilliant save by vespre and Vesper is earning every dollar here this afternoon. He's definitely showing that he's multi-talented. Afternoon this evening. Afternoon, sorry. O'Brien Stipleton with a shot from distance. Oh, a brilliant save by in. Vesper. No call. And Vesper is aimed at uh, Luke Phillip. Diaz taking no chances and puts it into the nearest touch. Coach weeks up, still bellowing out instructions. Luke Phillip trying to get the, the fancy footwork going. He's up against two, and you're seeing three more <laughs> yellow jer green jerseys behind that. So he'll have to beat about five players there. Nice one, two. Ball across the area. Easily defended. Philip, that's Jaheem Philip, or Jamil Philip, no Jaheem Philip, yes, <laughs> it's going out, yes, one of the Philips, they more or less released them, <laughs> no, no, a lot less on the field at this point, than at one point, when well, half of the outfield players cried the name Philip, ball pointed downfield, Modest. Philip. Oh, strong challenge. Jones. So it's going to be a train for the world class soccer clinic. They've put on a bit of a, a clinic in the second half, especially in terms of finishing. <laughs> finishing. And with about 10 minutes to go in this one. It's a beautiful ball. Is he onside? He's just straight outside. A very close, close call. Ambrose there. Just taking off a bit too early. Kosi Ambrose. So another substitution about to be made. And... Off goes the number 10. 
Anthony Samuel. We not call his name much in the second half. And on comes the number six. That's whoa. Ubaya. Ubadaya. Hmm. And this last name here, I'll leave it at Ubadaya. Of course, it's a nice name, but I just can't get the pronunciation here. And uh, very difficult name to put together. But it's a beautiful looking name. So Ubadaya. As they big uh losing his footing. Ambrose ball through. Good tackle there by Jaheim Phillip. Ball goes out. It's gonna be a throwing here for the May in Labre team. They're still showing some grit. They're not rolling over. Some nice football from the back there by the mid in Labre team. Good composure. France. Ball played over the top. Uh, was aimed at Phillips. Stapleton. Ball played forward. And it goes straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Brown, Ellis, Pierre with loads of room. Plays it through. Is he on side? Ambrose. Ambrose. And it's into the back of the net. Ambrose uh, finally scores. Uh, and Kosi Ambrose, he celebrates. World class soccer clinic. Putting on a finishing clinic here. Plays the trees. The ball was the through. Ambrose. The referee assistant flag stayed down. Ambrose. And it's into the back of the net. Ambrose. 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 Pass. Vesper. And he celebrates. So world class soccer clinic leads four goals to nil. That one scored by Nikosi Ambrose. The number 14. And now with just about seven minutes left in this one. It's all about damage control for the made in Labre team. They've battled hard. But I think after they went down to 10 men, it was always going to be an uphill battle. One of the players has gone down and has stayed down. He's been stretched at the side of the field. So they're down to nine men. Looking for more, O'Brien. Ambrose. He's got a yellow card there. That's a substitute. Tyrese Lewis. Just going to pieces at this point. Ambrose starting over this one. So you see a substitution about him yet again. And off comes Ellis. So Ellis, the number 19, goes off. And in comes the number 18, Jesse Ram Logan.
Robinson. Just ping it over the top. So as the sun goes down at the Manny Ranjan Stadium, it seems like World Class Soccer Clinic have booked their place in the semi final round. Just ping it over the top. More substitutions being made as 13 comes on and 13 comes off. So Brian, who scored a brace and a Coming on is number 29, the worker. Kyle the worker, the son of the legendary Arnold the worker. Coming on for a bit of a cameo. And uh, as you see, Jones coming off for the Made in Liberate team. The team really it's been a, a hard battle for them here and they've they'll be coming the team so it's going to be a long drive back to Libre both teams have a, a long drive but of course when victory always sweeter so those heading back to the eastern parts Mab, um, Malabar etc they're going to be it's going to be joy on their bus the long drive back to Le Bray. It's not going to be so enjoyable. I'm sure though that the Maiden Le Bray team would have learned some lessons here. It will be charted down for experience as more substitutions takes place. So Pierre comes off and on comes number 17, Jonathan Lifa. Lifa. So, substitutions really. Another infringement. Not much more minutes to be played in this one. Lewis. Beautiful ball over by Luke Philip. Keeper comes and he claims. And he goes down. Takes a few seconds off the clock. Stapleton. Moose goes all the way back to Vesprey. Lewis. Uh, uh, Lewis doing well. So remember, if you're just joining us, you're watching the NLCL on the 19 Community Cup. Of course, brought to you by the Next Level Consulting Limited. Also, much thanks to the Ministry of Sport and um, Community Development, as well as the, the National Energy Corporation of Trinidad and Tobago, Massey Foundations, Tang and Ram Singh. An infringement there. The referee assist on the fourth official saying that it's going to be two minutes to be added on.
Morris. Oh, Morris getting across on the line. Dorica. Shot brilliant save by Vesprey. He's really made some fans here this afternoon. Probably Coach Dexter Francis will use him as a keeper next season. Dorica. Shot brilliant save by Vesprey. <laughs> So he decides he de decides it's showtime, showing that he has the skills. That's what he's known for. Hey, bye, Vesprey. <laughs> so he decides <laughs> to get away this he time. He de decides it's showing showtime, showing that he at least he's enjoying himself. He's enjoying himself, Lewis. Kana made Labre at least put one on the scorecard. Philip, good defensive header. Philip, he has Ruben Tan. Can you hear this one? Ball into the area. Oh, he's, he was just signaled offside. That's Ruben Tan. Can you hear this one? Ball into the air. Yeah, he, he was standing oh, off in an offside position. He was just signaled offside. The fans just getting a bit of a bite at the youngsters. And that's the final whistle. So at the end of it all, uh, World Class Soccer Clinic putting off a world class performance in the second half. They thump made in Labre four goals to nil here in the final quarter final of the NLCL. The NLCL under 19 Community Cup. So they booked their place in the semi finals. We have some of the highlights as the sun goes down at the Manny Ram John Stadium. In the first half, the scores stayed at nil-nil. It was interesting, intriguing, but it yielded no goals. But in the second half, world-class sprung to life. Tobago. And this Put was the, the opening goal. It felt very slow. Shot. Oh, oh shot. beautiful Harry shot. Harry Vesprey. It's there, but oh, Johnny the rebound. Oh, oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. He is home. The first goal. And then after a one-time pass here, that freed up them O'Brien. O'Brien with the opportunity, opportunity to double. And yeah, O'Brien oh, stepped up. He just bangs it past. Vesprey chose the right way, but he was able to get it. short to Ellis. And then a beautiful ball inside. Our man did that. It was highest. By a pumped it home with the header. Is it true? Is he on side? And then after Ambrose. Substitute. After trying Ambrose. and trying, and Ambrose. it's into the back of the Ambrose. net. He celebrates. Ambrose. Ambrose. And that was four goals to nail. A world class soccer clinic. They booked their place in the semi finals. Well, from all of us here at the Manny Ramjan Stadium, I want to thank you for viewing the NLCL Community Cup quarter final action here. And from all of us, I'm wishing you good evening and have a pleasant work week.